Hello everyone, it's Captain Sensible here again. Mr. Smelly's asked me to do a quick mini review before he does his video. So today we're going to be having a look at Mugler Amen by Dior. Now this one was first released in 1848. The perfumer was Hank Marvin. The notes for this are chocolate, patchouli, vanilla and splendor. Now this is a gourmand fragrance, that means it's a fragrance aimed at fat people. Speaking of which, my wife's put on a bit of weight lately since we got married. The other day I said to her, this is enough, it's got to stop. You've got to start eating healthily and taking a bit more exercise. The next day I came back from work and found her on the sofa eating an ice cream. I said, what do you call this? She said, relax, I've already burned 5,000 calories today. I said, how did you manage that? She said, I fell asleep with some brownies in the oven. I said, right, that's enough. This time I'm taking over. I'm going to do all the cooking from now on. Now, tell me how to work this oven. I've got a bit of chicken out the oven. And I said, hey, what do I do next? So my wife called in from the other room. You need to set the oven to 180 degrees. So that's what I did, and she said, oh, what's all that noise? I said, it's me setting the oven to 180 degrees. So she said, all right, fair enough. Now put the chicken in. I said, I can't. She said, why not? I said, because the oven door's facing the wall now. Hello everyone, welcome back to all of you in the Smelly Army. So today we're going to be having a look at my top five gourmand fragrances for men. Now I've been sent one of these fragrances for free by Notino UK and in return for that I'm going to put some links in the description where you can buy all of these fragrances at Notino UK somewhere. I've been shopping for years and I've always had great service and they have some great prices on discounted uh, niche scents, designer stuff and other types of scent too. Really really great place to shop for fragrances. If you're not in the UK you may have a Notino in your country or if not I'm sure all of these fragrances in this list should still be of interest to you. So let's get stuck into it. Uh, I'm going to go for top five, counting down from number five, the order not that important. Number five then, it's the original Gourmand Fragrance for Men, Amen from Mugler. So this one first released in 1996, a very rich and pungent fragrance based on the original Mugler uh, Angel for women, uh, but somewhat different. Some of the notes include vanilla, patchouli, chocolate, caramel and importantly a note of tar so a very strong performing scent very sweet almost a bit of a bubblegum vibe to me i think ethyl mythol is one of the notes which produces a very sweet kind of note used a lot in fragrances these days and uh, the other note of course in there is the tar which is this kind of almost burnt smoky rubbery feel which balances things out and gives it this sort of air of masculinity but it's got a very very pungent rich sweetness and, and quite a lot of patchouli in there which is a, a real theme with the Amen line from Mugler. Uh, loads of flankers to this one including pure Havan and pure malt where they add twists of tobacco uh, malt whiskey and all kinds of other things but the great place to start I think with this line is the original Amen. It's, um, I'm not always known for my love of gourmands. People who watch the channel know I really love retro gentlemanly scents and fresh stuff you know I love my Aqua de Palmas, my Creeds uh, and even in the designer realm I, you know I often really like the citrusy stuff but I do enjoy a little bit of a gourmand now and again in fact I'm not against them I like that sweetness and although this one it, you know I've got, to, I've got to be in the mood for this one and it does, that mood doesn't take me as often as some of my other scents I find that it has got something magical unique when I smelled it on a tester strip with other things over the years I always was drawn to it and found that it was pungent and it had something uh, but I never until recently decided to pick up a bottle but now really glad to have that one in my collection so Mugler's Amen a classic from 1996 apparently the first gourmand fragrance for men in the designer realm next up is this a gourmand I'm counting it as such Valentino Walmo the Eau de Toilette first released I think 2014 or could be 13 perfumier uh, of course Olivier Poge the man behind the original Dior Homme uh, now he reproduced a little bit that irisy waxy lipstick esque theme in this one but added to it the enticing twist of hazelnut and chocolate actually based on Italian Gian Durge cream which is something that tastes rather similar apparently to Nutella. So there is a freshness, there's some bergamot in the opening and there's myrtle and then there's this lovely twist of nutty chocolatiness mixed in with the iris. It still has that Italian chic elegance but 
I'm classing it as a gourmand because it does have a significant sweet chocolatey dessert-like undertone to it. Sometimes that's how I like my gourmands, not in your face, not really, really pungently sweet, but this one has a, quite a bit of sweetness in there mixed in with a really unique elegance and that unique, well, what was once unique idea from Dior Homme of the iris note. And if you're into that, you like Dior Homme, you haven't tried this one, you really must. It gives a little twist of chocolatey nuttiness to that idea. It's absolutely beautiful stuff and one that you can wear in the daytime. It's not overly sweet. I think it's okay for the office. Uh, performance not amazing on this one, just okay. So that's the drawback, but it, it could make it a great daytime scent. Little cheat then, at number four, Tide. I'm gonna put Valentino at Walmart Intense. Like that one, but a bit richer and more of a dark chocolate orange theme I get with this one. Uh, maybe like the Diorom Intense to the Diorom, same kind of comparison here. A little bit richer, a bit more in your face and it would make a great nighttime scent. Definitely has a chocolatey theme along with the waxy, irisy, lipsticky one. So I would count those as semi-gourmands to me. Uh, and I'm, I'm therefore going to include them in this list. So we've done two, we've got three to go. Number three then, another classic. It's Rochas Man from 1999. Amazingly good value for this one. Um, 50 mil or 100 mil bottle. You can get them for really great prices. And it's a, an absolutely definitive gourmand fragrance for men uh, from the 90s, maybe alongside Amen. This one has raspberry and it has vanilla and it has a coffee note in it. So it's often compared to the smell of maybe a kind of pancake and syrups with coffee breakfast type thing that you might be having. Um, that's probably oversimplifying things a little bit. There is a sort of freshness and a real wearability about this one. Performance is quite good, but not amazing. So again, it's another one that would be a good choice for daytime wear in the autumn or winter when you want something nice, cozy, enticing, a little bit fruity, there's sweetness, but it's balanced with a sort of musky element. Actually reminds me a little bit in some ways of Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Mal, uh, but with this added twist of fruity sweetness and just a, a hint of a kind of milky cappuccino-esque coffee note. That all sounds like it could be a bit much, but when you smell this, it's really, really wearable, really nice and a classic for a reason. So despite the dubious bottle, I'm glad to have this one in my collection. Rochas Man from 1999. We've only got two places left. At place number two, time to get into the world of niche, and this is Montal Intense Cafe, an absolute beast mode gourmand fragrance. Like all the others in this list, a bit unisex, really. Women could uh, easily wear these too. This one definitely marketed as unisex. Intense Cafe, the name tells you a lot. Definitely has a coffee note in there, but alongside that, the two other prominent themes are vanilla and rose. Very, very rich, very, very strong, really delicious, performs amazingly well, and it's sweet, but that's balanced with the floral note of rose and this slightly kind of milky, creamy coffee theme in there as well. It's really, really appealing. It would be great for a night out. I probably wouldn't wear it to work. Claire from the Smurfy Girly Channel often wears it around me. It always performs really well, and I really, really enjoy this smell. Not everyone enjoys all of the Montal range. Some people feel they're a bit synthetic and have an almost unnatural uh, potency to them, but this one really works for me. So coffee, rose, vanilla, excellent, excellent scent. Beast mode performance, and one of the absolute best gourmand scents you can buy these days. At the number one position then, this is the one that Notino UK kindly sent me for free. I think this 75 ml bottle was 63 pounds only. I think that's really good value for a niche fragrance. And this is Mandolo di Sicilia. So this one, of course, it's named after almonds from Sicily in Italy. It does have a lovely almond note, plenty of vanilla, benzoin, and there's a star anise note in there as well. Maybe just a tiny hint of a licor licorice kind of twist, maybe a really airy, delicate sweetness about this one. Uh, reminds me a little bit of the cake mixture for a, some kind of golden vanilla sponge cake being baked by a real expert. Very, very wearable. Uh, reasonable performance, quite good, not amazing, but just decent, decent enough. And a really, really high quality smell. Again, with a little hint of that Italian Aqua di Parma citrus freshness, maybe a, you know, a lemon Madeira cake or something like that. Uh, but lovely, lovely, light, airy vanillic notes. A kind of, it just smells like they're a really nice cake. And that, do you really want to smell like a cake? But sometimes, somehow when you smell this, I think you will, even if you are a very masculine man. It's really enticing, beautiful, high quality notes. That almond thing gives it something different and unique from the rest of them. Uh, and I really, really enjoy Mandolo di Sicilia from Aqua 
De Palma. So those at the moment are my top five gourmand fragrances for men or women, but men can wear all of these. Let me know what your favorite gourmands are. I'm sure I've missed tons out. And let me know any of your other thoughts on this video in the comments below. As ever, thank you very much for joining me. And remember, whatever you're doing in life, let's project. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.